Hey guys, what's up? It's Tennybox here. Welcome to another video. In this video, hey, I'm bringing another commentary in the background of some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay live just for, uh, just for entertainment value's sake. But today, in this video, I have a topic about, um, unfinished games being released. And today, we're actually talking about Five Nights at Freddy's World, the newest Steam game that was actually just recalled and the guy that made it, Scott Cawthorn, I believe his name is. I really don't keep up with Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, you guys. It's not really my game. That's not to say that it's not a good game. I just don't appreciate it that much. It's just an, it's, It wasn't really that entertaining to me. I felt like it was way too overhyped, and it just appealed to... I think it, to me, it just appealed to younger audiences more. But that's just my thoughts on it. Those are just my thoughts, but... So, the newest game, Five Nights at Freddy's World, I, I feel like I do have to say something, just in general. Um, just because it was so bad. Like, it was supposed to, it wasn't, like, labeled an RPG, I believe it was. And there were no stats whatsoever, there were no, like, character, um, like, summaries or moves and stuff. It lacked a lot of things that an RPG lacked. And the creator, Scott Cawthorn, before he even released it, he said that he... Or was it after? I don't know. I apologize if I am misquoting this. But he admitted that he released the game too early. And to me, that felt like a cop-out, just because... He, if, obviously, if you're making a game and you realize that... Like, people... Like, he even said that people were saying before he released it, Dude, this isn't finished. There's a lot of RPG elements that you could add to this to make it, you know, an actual RPG... Instead of what I felt like was just an arcade beat em up game, essentially. It was just like that maybe kind of reminiscent Final Fantasy feel to it, which to me it just looked stupid. But, <clears throat> for one, it didn't, to me, it looked like it just lacked story. Two, the graphics, and I'm not usually a guy about graphics, but the overworld or whatever, like the main world where you walk around, just got awful. Like, I could have even made something better than that. <laughs> Just it was just horrible. I don't I don't know other I don't know another way to describe it. Sure, if it were for quote unquote game design choices or decisions, then sure I guess you could argue that. But other than that, the RPG elements of it were just so bad. And the sad thing was, is like it got pulled from Steam, but a lot of the reviews were good. And you can tell it's just fanboys because I'm not saying that being a fanboy is bad, but b being a fanboy is bad when you call a product that is obviously bad good. Even the creator of the game admitted that it was bad. Don't try to say that it was good if even the creator thinks it's bad. Because if the creator thinks it's bad, it's definitely probably bad. Um, which, all that's not 100% true all the time, but sometimes, like, creators will think a game is good, but then they're like, oh, this kind of sucks. Um, but, I just feel like, and it almost feels like kind of a like he intentionally didn't, or he intentionally released early, because how can you possibly just release a game that crappy and that unfinished with like ten dollars? Sure, not much, but for that, I feel like it is. That game has been recycled so much. It hasn't been only a year since the original came out, or maybe two years tops. Not even two years, right? A year and a half, because it came out around. Remember, I remember I was watching Silent Hill PT. That hasn't been done for like a year and a half, probably. Um, but seriously, that's, um, that just the franchise overall has been milked way more. Like, people make fun of Call of Duty and, like, all these games like Assassin's Creed having yearly releases. Dude, F Five Nights at Freddy's has, like, three year three yearly releases. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, and I'm not saying that all of the games are bad or whatever. They're just not for me. But we can obviously tell as gamers together that the last game was just pretty bad. It wasn't good. It just... Didn't, it was pretty much lacking in most of its content, and it goes back to the idea that a lot of content creators, or not content creators, but a lot of game developers are releasing unfinished games, and by buying it, you're encouraging them to continue doing it. So, uh, I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Did you guys actually enjoy the game for what it was? And by the way, the r creator of the game re realized that it was unfinished and bad, which is good on him, I guess, but still kind of bad for him because he released it to begin with unfinished. Um, but, and there's a saying that, uh, there's no such thing as bad publicity, publicity is publicity, and yeah, a lot of people are outraged by it, but it's also probably generating more revenue, to be honest. 
for other games in the franchise, maybe? Who knows? I really don't know the strategy here, but... Just me watching the game, it just looked like a fan-made game. It honest to God did. I felt like it was a really badly made fan-made fan -made game. I have played free-to-play games better than that. And by the way, it is going to be free-to-play now. It's going to be given away for free by Tim. But, you know, he's also offering refunds, which is good on him. Like, if he weren't offering refunds, I could definitely see that was, like, a kind of a scummy tactic. And obviously, there for the money. But, yeah, since he's offering money back, I guess no harm, no foul, I guess. But still, it, it's a lesson that needs to be learned from other developers. Don't release your game too early, because Steam, especially in Steam and stuff, I mean, I don't even know if it can get... Um, it doesn't happen as much as on consoles, I feel like. It's mostly a Steam thing. I'm not saying it doesn't happen on consoles, unfinished games, but... Steam is, like, a thing where everything goes through, or new game developers... Um, but they just make new content in games, and some of them just don't spend as much time. There's, like, every few months there's always controversy about a game that's not finished or needs to be pulled from Steam. I'm looking at you, Batman. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Tinybox. I'm out. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.